Hey there everyone! Welcome back to Bird Feed for ideas and inspiration for packing Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. For information about Operation Christmas Child, check out the link to Samaritan's Purse in my video description below. Today is World Oceans Day, so I'm taking this opportunity to share with you a Jacques Cousteau inspired ocean themed shoe box that I'm calling Undersea Explorer and I've packed it for a two to four year old boy. I've got something packed in this box that required a little bit bigger box than I normally pack. So let's take a look at what I've got. I decorated the inside of the lid with some undersea clip art and I added a sticker of a submarine to give it that Jacques Cousteau feel. And when he looks in his box, that's what he'll see. I gave this little boy a cute little fish as his stuffy. This is the pout pout fish. Uh, do you guys know that story, the pout pout fish? It's a very cute little book. It was one of my grandkids' favorites um, when they were little. Blub, blub, blub is what he says. I found this cute guy at uh, a thrift store a couple years ago for 50 cents. Brand new with tags in mint condition. I gave him this adorable headlamp. It's a whale. Isn't that cute? And when you press the button on top, his eyes light up. And when you press it again, they flash press it again it goes off cute little whale isn't that adorable I found this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar 25 you may be able to still find them there some I've seen some stragglers in some smaller stores that don't have a, a high turnover and um, it's just the cutest thing it requires two AAA batteries not included so I did include a pair and a set of replacement batteries that I'm leaving in the original packaging. And I got these at Dollar Tree as well, Energizer Max. So you, they don't carry them all the time, but when you see them, that is a, a good deal for $1.25. And I slipped it into this plastic bag so I could also put in there a mini screwdriver. This has... Um, a flat head and Phillips head on, on the inside when you twist these off. And it's a little keychain that I got on Tamu for cheap. But you need that because it has a little screw there to unscrew the battery compartment. So he's got that cute little headlamp. He's got several musical instruments. I gave him a harmonica that I got on Temu. It's wood, wooden, painted wooden harmonica. It has a little fish on it. He's got a baby shark tambourine and a couple of baby shark maracas. And his wow gift is this Green Toys submarine that he can use in the tub if he's got one, or some water nearby, or he can just use it on land. I went on the hunt for this at a reasonable price last year, and before Christmas on Amazon, it did go down in price somewhat. Um, so I purchased it then, but I used a gift card, so it didn't really cost me anything. Now, I will say when I bought it, I was thinking it came apart. And I could fill it because it's hollow inside but it doesn't really come up I mean you can take it apart but it's not intended for a child to take it apart so um, I couldn't really fill it with anything which is why I had to go to a little bit bigger box than I typically use I gave him a kaleidoscope so he can use it like the scope on a submarine this came from the Target bullseye section 
He's got a nice sized high bounce ball, a glitter one. This was a contribution from my friend Sally. He's got a few little undersea creatures, a yellow stingray, a lobster, and a dolphin. I got these from Target Bullseye section as well. And I really like these because they're kind of rubbery. They're soft, softer, soft-ish. He's got a baby shark fidget popper with a clip. I found this at Walmart, uh, unmarked clearance in the toy department hanging on the clip strips for a dollar. I think they're like three, uh, $3.97 regularly priced. I was so excited to finally be able to put these adorable flip-flops in a shoebox. I've had them for quite a while. I got them at Walmart on clearance for a dollar. They have a back to them which I like and this really cute little crab uh, motif on it. <laughs> Aren't they cute? They're a size 9-10. His outfit is really cute too. I love his t-shirt with all the submarines on the front. I thought it was very cute. Also got some sea life, a shark, narwhal, jellyfish, a crab, and some schools of fish. I picked this up at the children's place in a size 5T. And I got it on sale and I paired it with a pair of black cargo shorts from Walmart on clearance for a dollar. He's got a couple of pairs of baby shark underwear that I also got on clearance at Walmart. Those are in a 4T, as is his shorts. He's got a couple of pairs of socks, some black Umbro socks, also from Walmart on clearance last year and a pair of blue and white striped socks because I thought they looked kind of nautical. I think those came from Walgreens on clearance. And to complete his outfit, I gave him a pair of kids sunglasses in a turquoise color that matches his shirt. And I slipped it into one of these fabric drawstring eyeglass cases that were contributed in a pack last year by Joan Cowan. These really came in handy. They're, they were perfect for all the sunglasses I like to pack. He has a couple of kid-sized toothbrushes. One of them has a little submarine motif on it, and the other one has an octopus. I took them out of the original packaging, so I slipped them into one of these handy dandy pretzel bags which are perfect for toothbrushes. The bags were contributed by Joan Cowan last year. He has a yellow comb and his washcloth is this really cute purple octopus wash mitt. I found this at the Dollar Tree last year. They had some really cute ones and it's by Jaru which is, uh, actually it's made in Jacksonville, Florida. I didn't know that. But Jaru is, is a brand that you can find all over the place. He has a wide-ruled composition notebook for when he starts school later on. He's got a pencil pouch filled with an assortment of school supplies, pencils, some colored markers. These are the Crayola Silly Sense markers, a pair of scissors, a big eraser, and some of his pencils are decorated. One of them has a shark uh, pencil top eraser on it. Brightest bulb is what it says on it. And one of his decorated pencils actually has a submarine on it. So that's what's in his pencil pouch for when he starts school later on. His pencil sharpener is an enclosed Fiskars double-sided pencil sharpener that I got on clearance at Walmart for 10 cents. 
He has a multicolored click pen that says, You make o my day. And it has a uh, Mako shark on it. That was from Walmart's after Valentine's Day clearance. I, I paid nine cents for that. He's got uh, an under the sea coloring book. This is one of my favorite brands. Um, School Zone and Crayola are my two favorite brands to pick up at the Dollar Tree because they are just coloring pages. They don't have the activities in them. And the activities are fine, but you know, you have to read English to sometimes know what to do with those activities. And a box of crayons to color in it. I gave him an extra uh, book of paper. This is like a doodle book because it's just plain paper. And I decorated the front with some stickers. He's got some of the exact same stickers packed in his box. He has a very cute and colorful little storybook, Happy Easter Baby Shark, that has stickers inside. And there's a lot of do 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 do. I don't know how the tune goes for Baby Shark but it's a cute little book. And what I like about it, one page is a musical page where the crab is holding a tambourine, just like he has. It says, let's all jam, do, 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 do. And the back page is stickers. He has a cute game of tic-tac-toe with fish and sea turtles. This is from Walmart. They're originally $3, but I got this on clearance for 75 cents. I gave him several sheets of under sea creature stickers, a small sheet. This is a, a half sheet from the Dollar Tree, sparkly. And then these all came from a, a great sticker book that I got at CVS for a dollar. It had six sheets in it. And these are the stickers that I used to decorate his doodle book. He's got one more little toy that was hiding in the bottom of the box. It's a wind-up dolphin. And he will need some water to watch this swim. It has styrofoam inside to make him float and then his fins move. It's really cute. This was a clearance item from Walgreens a couple of years ago. And the last thing in his box is a tote that I made him out of some fat quarters that I got on clearance at Walmart. The fat quarters were like a quarter, but I only had one with the sharks on it. So I did have to make it a little bit taller with some extra fabric. So I chose this. I thought it coordinated pretty well. Kind of reminded me of the reflection on the ocean. And that's what it's lined with as, as well. And then I put one of my little tags on there that says, Handmade with love. And on the back I wrote by Trish. So that's my Undersea Explorer shoebox packed for a two to four year old boy. I hope you enjoyed it and got some ideas and inspiration for packing your shoeboxes this year. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps out my channel and in turn helps spread the word of Operation Christmas Child. Subscribe if you're not already and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye now.